The fact is, it was like a scene from W1A, a few weeks ago, I was standing in a breakout space in Broadcasting House, talking about technology. I'm not being funny, right, but I love the BBC. Even when I can practically hear David Tennant's dry voiceover, Naomi is about to tell the executives about how zombies can improve fitness, all I think about the BBC is, yeah, brilliant. They produce so much exceptional content for so little money, they raise the cultural bar in radio and television, even in online provision, given the user-friendly brilliance of the iPlayer. So that's all good then. Except it isn't quite all good. The BBC's coming up for charter renewal next year. Always a dodgy moment, especially with a conservative government and a minister for culture who's iffy about the license fee. The BBC has to make a case for itself once a decade, and the time has come for that to include the largest entertainment medium in the world, games. Can the BBC make games? Of course it can, and does. Its mission is to enrich people's lives with programs and services that inform, educate and entertain. Its purposes include promoting education and learning, stimulating creativity and cultural excellence, and its means of output are television radio and online. This country is a world leader in games making talent. Online gaming can be creatively and culturally excellent. Games can inform, educate and entertain, and also engage, a pretty vital prerequisite for doing the other three. But right now the BBC just isn't applying its values to games. For one thing, some of the games it's commissioning just aren't up to snuff. Realizing that I'm potentially going to spoil someone's breakfast in the broadcasting house, I've looked at some games associated with the flagship children's program, Blue Peter. There's a Red Nose Day themed WarioWare style game, a sport relief jumping game, a bejeweled clone where you match three to rescue the Blue Peter tortoise from a medieval tower. It's possible I don't follow Blue Peter closely enough these days but I wasn't sure what Shelley the tortoise was doing in a medieval tower in the first place. Half the comments say it's boring. A couple even mentioned that it's just like Candy Crush, 